called anybody. Um, uh, our team, um, uh, the, the kind of agenda that we have is not to um, make a formation, have someone rush in and go, all this downs as well, it's genuine. Um, and then for us to come out and say, oh no, here's all the evidence, we took some photographs and uh, here's some time lapse of us making it. We've never done that. I mean, that was kind of um, an agenda for circle makers who kind of, kind of predated us. We just have a very separate agenda, which is to, as far as possible, um, disassociate ourselves from the specific formations. We've never actually specifically claimed a formation, and we never will, because the whole point and the whole power of our work is gained from the fact that they are awfulness. As soon as you claim a formation, you kill it. You know, we've never personally made any money out of the formations, but, um, you know, for us, it's... it's you know, it's, it's a hobby. It's not. It's 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 not our profession. Someone like Colin Andrews, you know, he makes his living off of it. And and good luck to him. He's very good at what he does. Um, and in what he does, he supports what we do. He's basically acts as an agent for our work. So fine, you know, he's getting payment for that for that job. I think we crave publicity for our formations. I don't think we personally crave publicity. Um, sure, we all have egos. And sure, it's quite nice to sit in front of a camera. Um, but no, I crave publicity for my formations, not for me personally. Um, for us, though, it's kind of important, I think, to actually, uh, because we're artists, to talk about that agenda and to try and kind of push forward the debate about crop circles and bring that kind of area into it. And to a certain extent, we kind of we have to do we have to go in front of cameras and talk about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, I, cer I certainly don't crave publicity, no. I was basically, um, when I started circle making, my intention was always to remain completely anonymous. But to a certain extent, I was outed by George Wingfield. Um, and once that happened, uh, you can't really put the rabbit back in the hat. Uh, and so we decided just to, you know, to kind of go with it and use it to our advantage, basically. We can talk as circle makers but we don't have to claim specific formations, so we don't take any power away from the phenomenon. And maybe we can just kind of like throw up some interesting arguments and, and, and push, you know, just push it forward. Sure, we, we all have a little snicker now and then. Um, no, I enjoy reading... Um, I enjoy reading people talking about the formations, like... When broadsheet journalists go into formations, like I did this year, um, for instance, the uh, cock fractal, the one at Silbury Hill and the one at Milk Hill, the second cock fractal, um, and when they go in there and they say these things could not be made by people, um, you know, we get a kick out of that. Um, so if the kind of residual belief in the circles... Um, kind of drops away then the phenomenon dies and uh, we all lose, both sides lose uh, like I said before that it's, sim it's a symbiotic relationship um, you know, we need them and, and they need us and uh, although bizarrely never the twain shall meet we need each other um, and the, the truth is out there, I mean, you know, we're sitting here and I'm talk talking quite candidly about what I do but you'll believe what you believe you believe if you want to say that I work for the government, you believe that. If you believe I'm an artist, you believe that. Whatever. I don't have a problem with each of our own. I mean, sure, we worry about it, um, but we're extremely careful. Um, it's not to say that it won't happen, and I'm sure one day it will happen. It has happened before. Outside of this country, it happened in Hungary. Uh, I think some skeptics were actually caught making a formation, um, and I think they were taken to court as well. Um, and I think they ended up paying the equivalent of £28 for uh, damage to the crop, but it wasn't a particularly spectacular formation. Um, but, yeah, we worry about being caught. We're very careful, and uh, if we get caught, it's a fair cop. It's interesting, actually. Over the past couple of years, there's been a kind of a bit of a sea change. Um, well, I'll go back. Before, yes, we, we have had trouble. We've had um, hang-up phone calls. We've had uh, threatening mail. Uh, there have been attacks on physically on some circle makers, not myself, uh, and on their property. Um, so yes, you know there is, a, you know there is a certain risk in doing what we do. 
I actually have, if you want me to show you, some of the threatening letters that we've actually received. Uh, absolutely, yes, on several occasions. Um, I myself have had a series um, back in 1994. Um, there was three occasions towards the end of the season where I myself, the other circle makers, were seeing um, flashes of light, balls of light, kind of that were moving and crackling. Uh, more recently this year, uh, we were out circle making in Wiltshire and saw an amazing kind of like burst of light and then a column of light. Um, spectacular. No sound. Completely silent. Um, we, I haven't really seen like a 50 foot craft with like grey aliens hanging outside of it. But, um, but we've seen some pretty weird shit once we've been, well, while we've been out there in the field, yeah. On several occasions, uh, there's been times when we've drawn diagrams and the formations have appeared in the field before we got there to make it. Um, certain weird synchronicities. And, and certain, I mean, themes appear every year in the actual formations. And I guess there's a certain amount of the teams feeding off of each other. But, um, you know, uh, I think there's been a certain, like, there's been a lot of six-odd geometry this year. And certainly a lot of the early formations that appeared, uh, we were not responsible for. And they all had six-odd geometry. And they had very similar geometries to the stuff that we, we, we'd been working on uh, over the winter. So, um, yeah, there is a certain amount of, of, uh, of synchronicity, um, kind of cosmic coincidence.